FaZe clutch up in game number one there against Optic Nation. Back over to Envious versus TCM, no chance. We're going to a Biolab S and D. We talked about Biolab before. For Biolab Search and Destroy, I'm a huge fan. I don't know why. I just absolutely love Biolab S and D. Do you love watching it or do you love playing it? What Everything about? about it. Love watching it, love playing it. Don't know why. Just do. It's awesome. I would say stylistically, it probably plays the most similar to like past Call of Duties. Mm -hmm. And I don't necessarily know why. So I don't even know if that's like a founded statement. But to me, it just like has the same style. Like you have your two bomb sites at like opposite sides of the map. You kind of pick and choose one, leave a guy back and flank, which I know is sort of a similar strat for all search and destroy. I have no idea why. It just feels like a past Call of Duty map. Interesting. I uh, mean, Mr. X kind of had an interesting discussion today on the Esports Report. We were saying, could you see this map being played if there were no exos? Like, if you were to put this map in Black Ops 2, obviously you remove some of the verticality aspects to it, but could you see it as a map being played in Black Ops 2? Yeah, I could. And maybe that's why. Right. Because, yeah, like, aside from, like, the big green cranes, it's not, like, a hugely vertical map. It feels like something you could see in all the other Call of Duties. You'd exactly. have to, like... Like, you could even, like, not go on top of purple. You could just leave that building only for the bottom portion of it. There's yep. probably a few areas, though, where you're probably going to have to, like, throw in an extra ladder or two. Just, like, make it doable. But, yeah, I could definitely see him be a map on another Call of Duty game. It's weird, because it, it, it kind of uh, molds into the, the point you were making. You know, it feels like other Call of Duties. I think that's why. I think, although there is a lot of verticality in this map, I don't know. I just feel like it doesn't seem that way. It hasn't been forced to have verticality. Um, so, just my thoughts. I know uh, Mr. X kind of had a similar thought, but MB, you're going to go 2 0 up here in the SD. Obviously, TCM 1 0 up in the series, though, after a pretty convincing first hard point. Do you think TCM close out the series and ultimately get the win against MB, or are MB going to win this one, Chance? Uh. I'd still bet my money on Envy overall. And even if they go down like two games a month, I think they're capable of clutching up. Okay. Although if they have to go against like another four like quad host respawn, it's not going to go well. I imagine they can do it. It's probably not going to go well at all. They could do it. Depends on the map and the game type though. Uh, Uplink or CTF. It's going to be interesting to find out which one um, TCM decide to host. But again, it's Saints on the attacking side. Throwing out some grenades. 4 0 stop for him. He's looking at trying to get a pick around the outside here of purple. Three players on top green that for TCM. TCM known for using danger close with those grenades and search and destroy. It helps him get a lot of first bloods, and you'll see them do that in almost every single map on SD. However, player actually coming on the fight. Saints turns around. He's picking up the first kill. Connects. That was Shane. Now three versus three as Jerd cleans up, cleans up proof. Saints, though, getting aggressive top purple chance. Yeah, and he's able to clean up that kill on Jerd right there, as you saw on your screen. And then Moose was able to get that trade on Saints to make that now a 2v2. But Envy, as you can see, has come on an absolute huge rotation. Looney's actually spotted Moose yes. on top of the green crane across that little, I don't know, see-through spot. TV cleans up Gunji, so now he's going to be the last live that is Moose in a 1v2. So the bomb's going to get planted by TP. They have a general idea of where he is. Looney is going to be on the hunt, and he finds him perfectly. That was actually really good timing. Yep. Very good play by Looney. Cleans him up. 3-0. Really good play coming in from Looney. Um, kind of surprised he missed that snipe shot, though. When he was kind of just jumping up, see if he could find someone on Green Crane. But doesn't matter. Makes up for a 6-1 and one start, though, from Saints. Here in SD Biolab is pretty dominant. As MB go up three rounds to O. Oh, they look in full control here in such a straight Biolab. Yeah, I'm trying to think. If you were to get rid of like the vertical aspect and mm -hmm. throw it into like a Black Ops 2 type thing, yep. you might have to get rid of like the bio acid canisters as well. Because yep. like they're pretty big, but they're not too big considering like the movement speed, like they're easy to get away from. But if you're running at like normal slow call of duty pace, that's gonna be like huge. Right. I guess you're right. Um, but now I'm interested in that. I wouldn't be opposed to that, to be honest. I'm not a fan of the, the acid. Rates. They kind of annoy me, to be honest, but that's just me. Uh, this one, 2v4. Proof and T alive. 
or Team Envious, a win here would give them a 4 advantage, but they have to clutch at 2 4 first. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. TV misses the quick scope, needs proof. 1 on 4. Did pick up the kill on Shane. Looking on the flank, but a little bit of a windmill misses some shots. TCM pick up their first round here in Search Bio. Is there any chance we could like have that arranged just for like funsies to get the pros to play this map just like a few times without the exo suits? In, in classic? Just to see. Yeah, in search and destroy, just to see how it works. Dude, I, I'm i more than down for that. That'd be entertaining. Or like, I, I you know, like, cod chance is over. Second half of the like year, the portion of the game, it like, play you know, I don't want to say it gets stale, but people like, you know, the interest sort of wanes off towards like the new Call of Duty and then all the hype comes up for that one. So why not like mix up the tournaments and like have one like in a classic style or just like a random map too without the exos and Can you try imagine? something new or have like an SD only tourney? I don't know. How different it would make the game if you didn't have like exos. The game would play so different. It would be unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm down impossible. for that. Maybe season three is no exos. Maybe it's just classic mode, just for the bands. Chats are a genius. Well, you can only do that for like certain things, like uplink would be pretty ridiculous without exosuits, and I think hardpoint would be kind of boring, just because of like how big the maps are. But yeah, for like a search and destroy, yeah, why not take out the exos just to see what happens? Like, it could be interesting. Maybe we just do search and destroy only for the rest of the year. Well, I mean, First I don't know about all that. I like me some hardpoint and uplink too. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I would like. I'm down. I, I can't part ways with uplink. I don't think it's too much fun. Yeah, uplink is probably the best game type to come to God. Curious to see if it stays in the next one, to be honest. Kinda hope it does, but back on track. Gunshi down for first blood, Saints with the pick, with the sniper rifle. So 3-2, <clears throat> the score in favor of Envy. And uh, TCM getting two rounds back to back. It's important Envy win this one, just to put a stop to that momentum. It looks like they're gonna be able to do so. Shane left no 1v4, he falls, bomb gonna be defused. And uh, that's now gonna be 4-2 in favor of Envious. Yep. But if Uplink comes back for Black Ops 3, I it probably was going to mean there's going to have to be Exos unless you like lower the portals yep. or do something different with it. I don't know. I think there has to be. You unless think there has Blitz, to be Exos? Blitz would maybe make it. Maybe you have to just throw a drone into a like area, I guess. Like throwing a drone into a Blitz portal, maybe? Have it like a soccer instead of basketball? Yes. Well, not like kicking, but like that type of goal. Yeah, like you just kind of have to get close to it and just throw it in. Or maybe you have to just run the drone into like a like a blitz portal. So you kind of mix up like a blitz, you bring up the drone, run it into a portal. That could work, maybe. We should like work for Treyarch and just like spitball random like crappy ideas until one like <laughs> sticks and they're like, yes, that's the one. We came up with this brilliant game mode. Dude, I'm with it. I'm 100% I'm down to do that. We'd be Actually, geniuses. Yeah, even back to that like tournament idea, throw on like a random S&D pro mod tourney, like force like one sniper, one assault rifle, two SMDs or whatever. Just, I don't know, like why not play around with it? Have a little bit of fun. I don't know if like MLG or AEL or all the different UMG can like arrange that sort of thing, but I'd watch. I'd be with it too, to be honest. Uh, TP with a nice pickup there though. Ooh, can't find the second. Top blue somehow stays alive. And 5-2 overall now in favor of Envious. They are in full control and they are looking at very quickly leveling up this game. You see Looney just come in with the sniper rifle from the side. Help out TP who seems to be in a little bit of trouble. But Saints 8-4, Looney 7-4. Yeah, they're, they're dominating right now. Yeah, Looney also on a four streak. Um, so far, we've just had a battle of host, mm. which is somewhat expected. Although it makes sense. It's not like TCM is a bad hard point team. It's not like the host won them that game. It's just a nice little benefit. And Sam for Envy, they're a very strong search team. No reason they can't win it on or off host. This is true. This is true. It, it just helps. definitely does help. <laughs> a little bit. This is a small, small map. Jed planting the bomb. And should be good. Gets the bomb down now. Can Envy try and react? See those blue arrows flooding over towards Jordan Co. Proof he goes down. 
Jerd's probably going to fall as well. Oh my god, he actually picked up that kill. Oh, Jerd with two. Can he find the third? It's going to be over towards that A site. Teammate cleans him up. And TCM with a very solid hold. That was really good timing by them. They had like each other's backs covered. I think it was Jerd that picked up a kill on Looney. And that was like while Looney was shooting, uh, I have no idea, another TCM player in the back. And Looney wasn't able to pick up that kill before he got killed. And that's like a pre-trade, so that like automatically is an extra one-man advantage, which is absolutely amazing. So TCM able to win the round, not quite out yet, but they gotta win another three in a row. Certainly a tough obstacle. Well, going into round number nine, five three. Favorite of Envious. Surely we see Envy close this one out. They had a lot of problems with their search and destroy game uh, before the trades came in. Since the trades they seem to have settled down a little bit, but they can't afford to throw this one away. A huge lead that they've had. And, you know, TCM already winning map number one. Give them so much momentum in the rest of the series. Yeah, without a doubt. And you see pretty much all four players for TCM stacked right next to that A bomb site in preparation for that push from Envy. And you see Envy doing pretty much the same thing as now Looney is coming over there with them. They have pretty much all full players stacked over there, but Shane is going to be able to get your first kill on Proofy and Looney, able to hit that shot, giving the second time around. So that's going to be a 3v3 until TB cleans up Mr. Shane. So now 3v2 in favor of Envy. Oh, I'm good. She's going to die as well. Leaf Judd, 1v3, had a sniper rifle and an SMG combination. Players all around him. Sees the first one, goes to the stomp, hit marker, cleans him up with a hit by. That was Looney. Now 1v2, tagged up from the side. Pulls out the ASM1 again, but he saw both players cross. He knows exactly where they are. Can he now clutch up? Sniper Rifle comes back out. Jed getting a little bit fancy with this. Top green and bottom green. Jed just realistically just needs to go for this. Sees them both. Hitmarker again. Two stomp hitmarkers. Jed, 1v1. This could be huge play against Saints. 20 seconds left. Just running around. Sees him up top. Jed for the 1v3 clutch. He's done it. Oh, Jed. He does what he wants. That was absolutely insane. Yeah, that was pretty good. He is now on a five streak. Dude, doing some pretty <laughs> impressive things. That was awesome. He stomped on two people. I got hit muggers. And it's not even like Envy played that wrong. Like they were both dipping out, not challenging their gunfights, and then Jerd just came flying around, jumped over one, and then took them both out. That was pretty good. That was sick. That's like Stop. top five play material. Oh no, Jed! <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh my god, no! Oh my god, that's not just happened! Oh my god, I, I praise him! Oh, and that was, man. I just, literally, that just went from top five to top five fails in the space of seconds. Oh, the, the, good god. How do you even do that? What was he doing? He was carrying the bomb too. Chance! <laughs> what was he doing? What the hell are you asking me for? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh my lord. How has that happened? The only player that can shoot. Sure does what he wants, ladies himself. and gentlemen, including falling off the map. That's insane. Alright, well. <laughs> After that, I don't really know what just happened. Uh, Envy win, apparently, so they tie up the series at 1-1. For now, guys, quick commercial break. When we return, more of King Jerd going for a, a little bit of a jump off the map.